is Luigi. We are in Lisbon and as always uh, we will talk about what is this amazing place, how to visit it in the best way, I will give you some travel tips and why to come here. Of course there are a lot of reasons, I will give you mine. We are going to start our travel from Plaza do Comercio and uh, there is uh, a good reason to start from here because for centuries this was the entrance in uh, Portugal. Just imagine uh, a lot of ships just come here and bring uh, a lot of goods from Africa, uh, India, Macau. In our first route, after seeing Plaza do Comercio, we will visit the Bashia district to move to Barrio Alto and Chado. And finally, we will take Tram 28 to go in Alfama district. The route is 10 km long and each attraction is not more than 5 minutes walk from the other. Here we are in Rua Augusta. It's a road full of shops and also full of tourists. Not right now because it's uh, quite early in the morning. From Rua Augusta we arrive uh, at Rossio, which is the center of the city. There, on the end of this square, uh, you can see the National uh, Theater. Actually, it's not, not the best place of the city because it's full of cars. Close to Rossio, you can find the Plaza de Figueira and it's nice market. With the elevator de Santa Giusta we enter in Barrio Alto and Chiado district. From the terrace of the elevator you can see Igrea do Car. This church is so unique, probably the most memorable attraction you will see in Lisbon. And after enjoying the panorama in the Miraduro de San Pedro del Cantara, we can take the funicular to go back to Bascia. Let's go! And now prepare yourself for this wonder. It's just amazing. From Casa do Alentejo, go in Largo Maddalena to take the Charm 28 and visit the Alfama district. The Charm's route will pass under the Saint Cathedral of Lisbon. Miradura de Santa Lucia you can move towards the castle, even if I don't think you can find every day a show like this. Going back down uh, the streets of Alfama district, do not forget to visit uh, the Miradura das Portas do Sol and the Casa dos Bicos. In the second route we are in Belém district and we will visit Monastero dos Geronimos, Museo de Marina, Torre de Belém and finally we'll go back following the Tago River up to the Monument of the Discoveries. 
Mosteiro dos Geronimos is the most remarkable monument of the capital. Moistero dos Geronimos um, is probably the most beautiful monument uh, in Lisbon. It was built uh, by Henry I uh, in 1501. Also to celebrate the world discoveries uh, done by Vasco de Gama. And the way the stone uh, is worked in this place uh, is something really amazing. In Lisbon, I found two unexpected and hidden attractions. Both of them are in Chado district. I'm talking about Museo da Filigana and Museo da Farmacia. Hello, my name is João. Welcome to the Filigree Museum. We are one minute away from Brasileira Café and we are a very important site to visit because here you will learn about a filigree technique which is two threads twisted around each other and this is a very delicate type of technique it is also very important and very emblematic of the Portuguese culture Okay, the architectural heritage is something remarkable. I agree, people here are sunny and open. It's clear that in Lisbon the food is part of the show. And here are three suggestions on where to eat. Pastéis de Belém is supposed to have the most delicious pastéis of Lisbon. Let's check. Mm. But the most intense attraction of Lisbon is the atmosphere that you breathe, made of music, 
calls of birds, metal sounds of charms, made of fishy smell, of glorious history and also of a halo mystery that makes this city a good setting for a noir movie.